Hey Bear fam. Um I just wanted to uh speak to you very briefly about the death of Queen Elizabeth the second. Um oh, I can't tell you how sad I am. I t I don't want to start booing again, but I don't know what it is about it that has hit me like a ton of bricks. I don't know whether it's the shifting sands. I don't know whether it's the fact that she's been the only constant in my entire life. My parents have both let me down, but she was always there. Or whether it's the fact that I swore an allegiance to her when I joined the police service and carried her initials on my uniform for every day for 30 years. Or whether it's a combination of all of the above, I don't know. But I really, if you'd asked me in advance, I don't think I'd have um, been quite so aware that it would impact me so greatly. Um, Ellie is totally bemused <laughs> as to why I'm so sad, as to why I'm talking about going to London. Um I, you know she just doesn't and why would you at 16 you're immortal the world goes on forever and those that are important to you will be there forever I think it's only when you get to sort of middle age and some of your friends people on the same level as you I think my first real awakening to mortality was when Diana died um, I'd literally just got married um, and it that hit me nearly as hard and I think that was just a realisation that life was short that it no matter whether you were a princess or whether you were a pauper like that it's gone and um so I was, what, um, mid-twenties by that point. So, uh, you know, she's way off that sort of thing. Uh, but um, she was the most amazing woman. She, I can't believe that two days before she died, she was still conducting... I wish the dog was shut up. National, you know, appointments. What the hell? At 96, why? Can you tell me of another 96-year-old that's still working? Oh, bear with me. Let me shut this door. As I was saying, um, I am grieving her like I would a member of the family. Um, she was always there. When I was growing up, she was a woman in power and that meant that in a world where men were still more dominant that I felt able to join the police service I mean it didn't strike me at the time that I was doing something bold I have to tell you I mean be honest I, it was just what I wanted to do but how did I feel the freedom to do that and I'm she has to have had something to do with that she stepped forward in an era when women were deemed to need helping along. She stepped forward in an era when married women were meant to, you know, walk behind their husbands and she had kids and she stepped forward at 25 into a world just after the war a world so different to the one we're in today and yet her relevance remained how did she function in a world where men thought they were better but she did and she changed opinions um we have her to thank for an almighty gift in respect of the leaps and bounds forward that women have made in society. Um, I think 
I think I can't be the only one that's feeling unexpectedly emotional. Um, it's taken me by surprise. And the fact that I can't shake it 24 hours later is as much of a surprise. I just... I remember at eight years old when her uh, Silver Jubilee... I remember being given this anthem. I think we were given them by school, I'm not sure. It was like a silver book, paperback. Excuse me, my nose is running because I'm crying. Um, and I treasured it. I utterly treasured it. I took it everywhere. I stared at the pictures. I remember that book so vividly. And I remember the street party. I remember the Silver Jubilee. I don't remember the specifics at eight years old, but I do remember uh, dressing up for a carnival and entering a carnival with my dear aunt, uh, who was just a few years older than me. Sadly, she's passed on now as well. Um, my only other memory of her was when she came to Weymouth in 2012, so 10 years ago. So she was already 86 then. And um, she came down onto the sand. It was all to do with the uh, Olympics and the Olympic sailing. Um, I clearly remember dressing Ellie up in her best <laughs> and a hat and hoping we'd get close. We got within about 100 metres. Um, we had a little glimpse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just watching Charles in London shaking hands with everybody. How difficult is that? How difficult is that? He's just lost his mum. He's shaking hands with every single person. Well, virtually every person. I mean, he's in his 70s. How long is he going to blink in last? <laughs> She's the foundation that our current society was built on. And I guess it's part of me that's a bit scared too, weirdly. It's like somebody's pulled the rug from under my feet and I'm not quite sure which way's up. I'm not quite sure what the future is. That's weird, isn't it? Because she was one person. The world's not going to change. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> But I just wanted to say, Your Majesty, Mom. Oh, sorry, Ma'am, isn't it? We had to call our superior senior officers, Mom. And she didn't like that, did she, Ma'am? Which, ironically, my great grandmother was the name we called her, Ma'am. Anyway, Ma'am, I hope you enjoy the afterlife. I'm sure you're watching everything that's going on with a wry smile on your face. Um, I know you can see what's happening from the other side. But at least you've got your loved ones with you again, eh? You've got Philip. You've got your mum. Your dad. In fact, you four can be family again, can't you? You were a strong quarto quartet. Anyway, I'm rambling and you don't want to listen to me rambling. But I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for everything you did for our society. Thank you for the respect and pride in this country you gave me. Thank you for giving me the inspiration and pride to wear your initials on my chest. Thank you for lending your face to all our blinking coins and notes. What will happen with them now? What will happen with all the police officers' uniforms? What will happen with the post boxes? And so on and so on. Stamps, money, 
And quite honestly, I don't really want to sing God Save Our Gracious King. <laughs> I really don't. I, um... I guess I still hold a grudge for him cheating on Diana, which is ridiculous because it was nothing to do with me. I just wish William was taking over. That's what I wish. I wish it was skipping. I certainly don't want Camilla as Queen Consort. I know a lot of people have come to respect her, but she's not my cup of tea. Right. I'm going to love and leave you after my uh, ridiculous outburst. Um, don't be ashamed to be upset. For, well, most of us, she was our figurehead for our entire lives. She was the head of our country. She was always present and correct, even up till two days ago. Her service was beyond impeccable. I can't, I just can't grasp how at 96 she was still, especially if she was two days away from death how she was mustering herself to duty. I don't know how she did that. I really don't. And she has my utmost respect and love and admiration for that. Right, I will catch you again soon, Bear Fam. Take care. And uh, God save the Queen and I guess God save the King.